Hey guys, Dov here with some more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer action. We're here today once again, High Elves versus Greenskins, who else? Grom versus Eltharian. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build. This is actually for Samurai Warrior uh, versus Flying Taco here. Samurai Warrior taking the Greenskins this time. He's got Grom the Paunch, uh, Flappas, Spore Splodas, and some more Flappas up front. He's got a Big Boss, a uh, Orc Shaman here. A bunch of biggins, some boar, boy biggins, spider riders as well, about to get munched by a couple war lions on each side. Got four war lions, including the uh, Rahagra's Pride, also a lion chariot here, a bunch of rangers, a couple silver and guard, or spearmen, one spearmen, one silver and guard, flame spire phoenix, and Eltharian. So right off the bat, Eltharian comes down and just munches the spore splodas, pretty painful for them. Likewise, these uh, white lines are going to get some pretty good engagements, as I mentioned, out on the flanks here, using that mighty roar to break those spider riders off. Over here, just the pure charge bonus. The spider riders did not get their charge, and uh, definitely going to be a rough situation off the bat. But greenskins, obviously, still have quite a bit of stopping power left. The uh, flap is getting a little bit overextended here, but they're relatively tanky. They can they can try and, and sustain here. Let's get in close and watch as these rangers. Engage the biggins. It's gonna be a pretty attritious trade on both sides. They'll just beat the brakes off of each other But uh, obviously with the flappas here that will help swing things in the greenskins favor though You can see also the war lines Being supported over here. We've got what is that hand of glory quick hand of glory to buff up the melee attack of the Rahagas pride up to 62 melee attack It's gonna do an absolute ton of damage there, but uh, unfortunately these uh Lion Chariots here have been left on top of these Orc Biggins for some time, and they've taken quite a bit of damage. Actually, it looks like they dropped a model there. Pretty unfortunate. And a uh, nice Brain Burster there as well. So, definitely some good plays on both sides here. Wobbing pop now as uh, these Orc Biggins are a little bit overextended. Kind of get cornered between the Silver Guard and the Spearman. Nice rear charge there from the Lion Chariot as it kind of disengages from that other flank. And the War Lions here... Um, Flying Taco's been doing a great job just uh, keeping his War Lions mobile, not staying in sustained combat against especially the Biggins for too long, um, but very dangerous. Likewise, uh, Eltharian doing his best to hit and run. Eltharian, honestly, a little bit expensive for what he gives you. <laughs> um, he's not that great of a combatant at the end of the day, and he's very expensive to pay for a caster with no uh, Arcane Conduit or anything. So... It's a little bit of a tough day for uh, Eltharian. Hopefully, I, I don't know how much of the balance feedback, feedback that I submitted will be implemented before patch, but uh, I do think Eltharian's a little bit expensive for what you get out of him right now. He does pay the most for his Griffin. We'll take a look at that later on, but he's going to charge in here, still do a good job, kind of self-healing, sustaining um, the uh, Rahagra's Pride and other War Lines, using that leadership debuff to try and break some of these units, but the uh, Rangers have definitely taken a beating. Another really nice Brain Burster there on the Spearman. Obviously won't do as much to the Silver and Guard because of their magic resistance, but still. Uh, we've got the Flame Spire Phoenix also here, and a uh, great job using the War Lines to chase off some of these uh, various Goblin units, and just to keep keep the Greenskins routing as much as possible. Speaking of which, it looks like the Spores Bloaters are back from route, as are both of the Flappas. Pretty unfortunate situation uh, for the High Elves, but here Eltharian makes a dive to try and catch this. So Orc Shaman, they need stabbing goes on him though, and he's going to get rear charged by Grom the Paunch with his 90 charge bonus. Will actually do some damage here. Likewise, the Orc Shaman fighting back uh, with uh, arm good armor piercing damage, and the Greatman is here from uh, from Grom the Paunch supporting that melee attack as well. Uh, that being said, the Spore Splodas, the Flappas getting in here, they're able to kind of surround the Phoenix and block it in here. You can see the Phoenix is definitely going to have a hard time disengaging, and it really does not want to be fighting the uh, Biggins. Uh, the, the Helm of Avress, I believe, from Eltharian, which he does have here, it will make a unit unbreakable and unkillable for a short unit, uh, short period of time, rather. Nice foot of Gork there, uh, just shattering some Rangers for uh, for show. But anyway, if you use that on the Phoenix, potentially, you know, during the, the rebirth, it will not die, right? And it'll basically guarantee it to get the healing proc, and also it won't just run away as well. So potentially some good synergy there. We'll see um, if, he, if he can get it off. Uh, the Apotheosis doing a great job kind of trickle healing these war lines, keeping them buffed up as much as possible. Looks like a Hand of Glory on Eltharian as well, as he's going to drop down and try and finish off some of these characters, it looks like. Yep, drives ro drops right on Grom here, does a ton of damage to him, but he's going to take some damage in return. Grom actually, for a Chariot Lord, has pretty good splash attacks, 
Um, he'll definitely fight back pretty hard. I mean, not the best combat stats in the world, but still, especially when he can take advantage of his charge bonus, kind of countercharging units here. Getting a little bit caught out by these war lions, but uh, the lions really should stay focused on trying to finish off the pump wagons here. You can get rid of the pump wagons and chase them off, more importantly. Yeah, great job with these ones trying to chase those pump wagons off. You can get rid of them, then uh, you could potentially just cycle charge Grom uh, until the end of days with Eltharian, but you really do need to get rid of those uh, pump wagons. Still one unit left, and we've got a pretty good contingent of high elves over here. The uh, war lions have taken a lot of damage, and so far... Uh, you know, Taco's been doing a good job keeping them mobile and keeping them, you know, ping-ponging, cycle charging between different engagements. But even still, just a, a little bit of a slip up, like that quick little brain burst of there does some good damage. Uh, Grom splash attacks likewise, don't need a lot of armor piercing damage. And, uh, I mean, the anti-infantry doesn't really apply here, right? But still. You can see the Rahagra's Pride are able to break the flappers here once more. But they're just uh, having, a, having an interesting time of it there. Getting pretty low on models here. Yeah, the Rahagra's Pride probably going to rout at this point. But Eltharian comes back, trying to finish off these various heroic units. Grom is just tanking out the damage at this point, and that's very, very important. Um, you can see here, these war lines are going to come out, try and finish off these Flappas here. Let's watch them charge in. The Flappas actually counter charge, and they have a pretty good charge bonus. They are going to fell a few models there and uh, push back. I'm not sure those War Lions uh, maybe had a retreat order, but yeah, they actually get finished off by the Flappas because of their charge bonus. And here, Eltharian's gonna get charged again in the side by Grom the Paunch. He gets out of there. I think, yep, he's able to get out of there. Another little trickle heal, so good stuff there. Balance power, though, definitely in the Greenskin's favor as uh, Grom is still so healthy at this point. And the, the High Elf units are getting very tattered. And just a quick charge, like I mentioned, uh, a short slip up with those war lines, and even a unit that's still, you know, relatively speaking, uh, in terms of the late game, uh, healthy. But yeah, just a quick slip up. They can take a lot of damage very, very quickly, and pretty much as soon it's going to be just Eltharian versus the world, right? I mean, we still got a handful of war lines over here. Um, some of these units might come back over here, but the Flap is doing a good job chasing them off. And this is a good replay. I mean, it's just a good replay for the DLC in general. It showcases a lot of the new units. Especially for the High Elf side, and it kind of shows, uh, it's a good good kind of uh, example of where I feel the DLC is at. Um, it kind of gives us some good examples, basically everything except the idol. Um, but yeah, pump wagons are maybe a little bit too cheap, maybe have a little too much HP for what they are. And you can see that in the late game here, they are just sticking around with barely a tiny bit of HP left. Uh, Eltharian's just a little bit too expensive and not quite as good of a combatant as I feel he should be. He's going to go down here. Grom's solid, but definitely not game-breaking. But, uh, yeah. Very, very close battle. Super well played to both players. Honestly, a lot of good plays on both sides. And some excellent uh, uh, War Lion play from Flying Taco there. Able to utilize them, stay mobile, and really get some nice charges. Kind of break various uh, pieces of Samurai Warrior's army off. But credit to Samurai Warrior. He kept getting those routing troops back in the fight. And especially, like, the, the pump wagons, which had initially gotten a very rough engagement... They can come back in and, yeah, just uh, get some good damage done. Even the side charges there, you can see, with that 60 charge bonus and good armor piercing damage, I mean, they can get legit charges um, against, uh, you know, single entity targets and so on. That's kind of one of the reasons I feel like they should be... The, the basic pump wagons and the flappas both need to be plus 100 cost at least. Um, so 550 for the basic pump wagons and 750 for the, the flappas. I think that would be pretty fair. And likewise, I think you could probably reduce the the spiky rollers down to 850 and then maybe buff the boar chariot and increase its cost to like 1100 so that it actually has a clear roll uh, as opposed to these other chariots. But anyway, uh, the spore sploda is maybe not quite so OP because, uh, I mean, their, their ability is pretty good, don't get me wrong, but I think the flappas are a little bit more uh, cost effective. Biggins did a great job here. Grom the Paunch just sustaining into the late game, being an absolute tank, uh, doing what he does. Likewise, Eltharian, that's a pretty good showcase of Eltharian, honestly, hit, trying to hit and run, you know, keep that triple heal going, and just support engagements where you can. Uh, the White Lion said, okay, the, the Lion Chariot, despite taking a lot of damage, was able to, to get quite a few kills there. Uh, the Flame Spire Phoenix, I guess, didn't get the the, the Helm of Rest from uh, Eltharian, I don't know, I, we didn't see that, so I'm assuming not, but uh, yeah, Rangers did okay in supporting some engagements, 79 kills, not too bad, certainly, against like some Gobbos. And, uh, yeah, definitely a great replay. So big thanks to uh, Samurai Warrior and Flying Taco for that one. Samurai Warrior, of course, an Italian content creator. So for those of you guys who are Italian fans of mine or speak Italian, want to watch his 
channel, um, Samurai Warrior. If you, if you see this, be sure to drop a, a link to your, your channel in a comment, and I will pin it for everyone to see. And with that, I think that's uh, pretty much time for me to end. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.